Alright, so we'll go down now. All the chests currently in this adventure, which is basically none. Actually, actually there's no chests, there's just this one. But there are crystals everywhere, so yeah. So, did you notice this, guys? Uh, Farhaler, thank you. Uh, Fergoth, thank you, that's absolutely right. And also, hello everyone who's just joined as well, good lord, there's a lot of you, so... Hello everyone! Now, isn't there something a little bit different here? You feel like there's something missing? Like, there should be something right there. There's no portal! That's absolutely right, Neon! There is no portal. There is no portal. So, yeah, what we're doing now, as Holly Bell says, but also hello, is there's no more end portals. Alright, so don't do this. <laughs> don't, don't do this. Uh, what happens now is there's no. Because basically, what happened in Adventures, everyone would just be like, oh, you know, you go to the portal, you get through at the end. It's not like that anymore. Now you have your own objectives. So it's up to, to you what you do on the adventure. If you, there's still bosses and stuff, so there's still those end rooms. And if that's your goal, great. If you want to explore, get the materials, that's cool too. Uh, also, Watus, hello, welcome to stream, and thank you for following and supporting us. You are awesome. I have no idea why I do that like that, but there we go. So, yeah, so, because I've now got... I always call Farhail, it says it right there in the tutorial. It says press F to activate my Farhail, but first I'll take everything in this chest. Thank you. So press F, and it's now saying, go back to Mama Island. So where I go? Oh! That's how the uh, you previously just stood there and he just disappeared. Well, now there's a cool little and yeah, now I'm back up on my mind. Oh, Serenity Cat, thank you for following and hosting this. You are awesome. Say wiggly hands now. So, indeed, that is a cool animation. Uh, oh god, Scott's not here, is he? No, Scott, that's why stuff is getting done. Uh, okay. Alright, so it's saying use the crystals on a damaged airship. Oh, wait, what? Was that a chicken? Why are there so many chickens? Where do you keep coming from? Alright, well, I can't kill them all the time, so... Let's go on. Alright, so we put in our crystals, and... Wait. Let me... Let me just check something. I just want to check something. No, okay. Not yet. Not yet. I thought it might have unlocked all the adventures so you can see how it works. But that's fine. So we'll repair and go to City of First Light. And there are some changes in the City of First Light. Some pretty interesting ones, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 don't worry about that. Alright, so it's saying... Use the air... Shut up, chicken. Uh, use the airship to travel to the City of First Light. So, down here, guys, it's... Basically, like, you know, previously we, you'd have, like, a little list here. Well, it's not there anymore. Now it's this. So it's down here, City of First Light. So, do you want to travel to City of First Light? So there's a prompt now. Because previously it used to just be you click it and then it send you off there. So you might accidentally click and get sent off somewhere and you're like, Oh my god, why? Ooh. Well, that's cool animation. Uh, chicken ain't the portal chickens, might. You know, portal chickens. Just can't trust them. Is there a daylight time cycle on Private Island? I believe so. Uh, show Gladiator next. I need info. Uh, I'll have a look over there, Tan, but my understanding is not much has changed with the Gladiators. At least... Not, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, at least not yet. Okay, so... This place, you may notice this looks more or less kind of the same, right? You know, you got this over here. Uh, there's no weekend uh, quest giver or trader there just yet. But uh, over here... Huh. Oh, we got the theory. Yeah, the theory. Over here, we have this building. And this guy. Now, you may remember Kamcha from previously, but Kamcha now does something a little bit different. You may notice that they're called the item trading. So, what's up, Kamcha? You, uh, you want a mushroom? Yeah, you want a mushroom. Sweet, Kamcha. You're going to give me eight knots for the mushroom. All right. What's that? You want some wax? Well, yeah, sure, why not? You want to give me seven seven nuts for it? All right. Cheers, buddy. Oh, oh, you want more? Oh, you want a green pumpkin? All right. Well, there you go. So, yeah. Do you have a bunch of stuff that you'd like to trade in to get nuts for? Ta-da! 
Well, now you do. You have an item trade in. So you can trade in whatever you want. So, you know, if you want to trade in the five stone, okay, done. If you want to trade in. Oh, well, I'm not going to trade in those pe pelts, but certainly 12 pelts, 120 knots. Now, obviously, each item is preset, but yeah, you can trade in whatever you want. You want to go mine a billion lots of stone and hand them in because you need low knots? That's how you do it. Alright, so, uh, yeah, well, before, obviously it's saying go find an explorer's hall in City First Light. But before I do that, we'll have a quick look at the, uh, the old vending NPCs that are out here. So, alright, Nazak, what have you got for me? Alright, so here we see, of course, selling more or less the same things, but these again, still on the random, well, not random, the, the different rotation. Uh, so they, you know, sell lots of different items from specific pools. So you'll have like stone, wood, metal here, and those will change day to day, and they won't be the same. They'll always be different. That's that's the main thing. Aha! Now, if you remember correctly, Hafar used to sell keystones, but as you can see here, he sells keystone fragments. And you don't have keystones anymore. So what do you sell, Hafar? Oh, you sell dark hearts and keystone fragments. So now, what you can do is you can trade on a load of stuff, get a bunch of nuts, come here, like, yo, Hafar, buddy, how about hit me up with some keystone fragments? So you can now just buy the keystone fragments, which you then take and then go to whatever adventure you want to go on. So you no longer have to buy like, you know, a Sun Sunreach Palace, you know, keystone, because, you know, that's the only one available. Now it's, here's a bunch of keystone fragments, you buy whatever one you want, and then you go to the portal, which I'll show you later on, and then choose whatever adventure you want to go on. As long as you choose the right mastery level, but we'll come into that later. So yeah, there's that. Now we'll just have a quick look over here, of course, we got the island trade dealer, sells deeds, didn't really need to change that. Oh, hello there. So you got your leathers, you got your leather straps, your cottons, and your design furnishings, which is kind of easy, I don't know. And of course, you're selling more furnishings, or designs. And you'll see here this. Now this is a new thing. This is Settler's Secret Formula. Just, now you can buy it for nuts, and you can earn it through like leveling up and other such ways. But this is used in some, some designs, and basically, it's just a, you know, a helpful. And it's just, it's a way to, I don't know, it enhances things. Just, just trust me on this. It's like, uh, it's like putting, you know, kind of like chunks into a, into a design. That's what it does. And I know there's rare ones, and there's a lot of cool recipes that do use as well. So yeah, no, no, it's not potions. It's it's used for crafting. It says there, used to create furnishings of fable quality. And then this one's used to make furnishings of epic quality. So, for example, here, this is an epic quality one, so you need this to craft it. So, yeah. And there's a lot of really good recipes there. So, yeah, as Neon says, it is indeed a balancing mechanic. Thank you. I was trying to think of the words for it. You got my back, Neon. Uh, so, yeah, money, indeed, Cypher, money does have more of a use. And it's a balancing bit. <laughs> Kappa. Alright, so. As you can see, day and night still exists in City of First Light. And we, oh, we have a message. Now, what's the message say? Hello there, Explorer Rank 1. Cheers, buddy. I'll take those 10 marks. Yes, sir. Bye bye, Will. Alright, so, here we have Wayfinder Peregrine. Uh, uh, <laughs> Talk to Wayfinder Peregrine. Alright, I, I apologize in advance, guys, but now I have to do a silly voice. <laughs> Quest chain unlocked. Your journey begins. As it wasn't enough that the shattering took our world, it took our memories too. The scraps of lands that remain feel familiar, but the natural order has has been thrown into chaos. Take these, explorer, and report back. Thank you, Wayfinder Peregrine. I will do that. <laughs> Thanks, Avius. I, uh, I certainly do some kind of voices. <laughs> uh, Alright, cool. So, complete the tutorial now, and we get a design for a doublet, sword, and a cross sword. So, we will take all those. Cheers, buddy. And we'll take up, pick up these quests. Oh, what was that? Did you just see that? Okay, here we go. So, here we have a reward for a fiery heart. What's a fiery heart? Good question. A fiery heart is used in kind of like dark hearts are as well. But it's used in adventures, so you'd have your keystone fragments, your fiery heart, and that'll let you go into one a specific type of adventure. Or you have your keystone fragments and your dark heart, and that'll let you go into a different type of adventure. So it's it's 
basically, you know, like when you create the keystone and you use those dark hard time fragments to go on adventure, just kind of the same thing. But now it's not just dark hearts. So it's like letting you like hold on to it. Don't worry, Pedro, it's not too many things. It's just, it's just some fiery hearts. It's just, yeah, don't worry, it's okay. Oh yes, indeed. Uh, Save you still say there where there is a key. There absolutely is, right? Okay, so learn about metals. All right, we'll go learn about metals then, I guess, because metals. I get, I guess, yeah. We need to talk to Mermesh as well, because Mermesh is going to help us set up all our gear. All right, community quests. All right, demanding. Bye, Ella. Oh, good lord, really? You going to talk to me too? All right, fine. It's so good to see you, and look, you've already earned a medal for completing an adventure. Well done! You can equip medals to show the world your skills and passions. Press F, then click the medals tab to see your collection. Good lord. That, that voice. So, of course we've got the community quest here. Go kill. Oh, defeat, yeah, 25,000 bosses. Good lord. Good lord. Maybe not, eh? Alright, so F, and then look at... My details, medals, radio beats. That. And wow, okay, so I have these medals. Good to know. Uh, my medals, of course, you can see all the medals here. You can see probably already there's quite a lot more. Some chicken, death from above, Spartan. I've not forgotten gladiators, don't worry. Giant killer, bone, sword. You know, you can all have a look at yourself. My photos. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, group? Group. What are groups? What are groups? Oh, that's right. That's that thing you use to join up with other people. Huh. Well, that's nice. Guess I'll just close that for the time being. <laughs> so, of course, we've got a building here that looks like it's being built. So, things to come. Uh, no worries, uh, Tan. We'll see you soon. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Oh, whoops. Moobot got you. Oh. Yeah, Bibot doesn't like people posting links. Um, yes, Tan, I will hold off on Gladiators for 10 minutes. That's fine, but as I say, not much has changed for the Gladiators. I'm, I'm kind of sad to say, but group people party, yep. That is, you can only join one group at a time. And this is where you get your group invitations. To create a group, click invite the group button on a player's profile. So, is anyone online? Oh yeah, of course, Letherius. Oh, that guy. <laughs> so here, we've got Letherius, so I can click invite to group. And then, as I say, all right, remember with this with the group, guys. This is just our first running at it, all right? So it is gonna be a little rough on the edges, but it's getting there, right? That's the whole point of the alpha, it's like, we've got this cool, cool thing, guys. You know, if you have suggestions, you know, just hit us up with those, and then, you know, we'll sort it all out. But yeah, you can form groups. Don't know what more you want for that. <laughs> oh, you claim the Cree. Ex Cree. You claim the key. Awesome, Chris. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Uh, yes, exactly, Nan. It's the first part of a group system. One of things. Okay, so. <laughs> what the? Oh, of course, you guys will have seen the blueprints. So this is where it is now. The camera's been shifted away. And here we can see... <laughs> oh, unfortunately I don't... I, I'm not level 2 either. So I can't show you this. Oh, it's just a shame. But soon. Soon I will be level 2 and I will be able to show you. So these are currently all the random stuff that people have made <laughs> while we've been testing it. And we can click view details. Yes, we can. It's made with blood iron. Uh, Shell was back to blood iron. Uh, moon Iron, Shadow. So if we click these pictures, we can see it's just a giant. Of course, if you don't know... <laughs> He's with the arms move, that's cool. Like, if I do that... Alright, I'll stop doing it. <laughs> indeed, indeed, Dizzy. So, yeah, this is where blueprints, where you can create your own blueprints and submit them. What you do is you buy a blueprint studio, uh, which is free. And then it'll give you this thing. Now, you don't have any valid Blueprint Studio slots because I'm not level 2. But once you're level 2, you'll be able to learn that and it'll open up a slot for you to use. And you'll be able to see your submissions. 
uh, transaction, so it means things you've bought, and unclaimed commission, uh, because you can earn your own knots from doing this. So for example, if I bought Dizzy, I can't because I've got 126 knots. Uh, but eventually, alright, it's the cheapest one. <laughs> alright, so if I wanted to buy that, I'd buy it for 16,600 knots because of the materials that we used, and then I get that blueprint, put it on my island, and then you know I'd supply my own materials. It's not the actual completed thing; it just gives you the blueprint, and then you put in the materials through an interface, and you can craft it. Now you can submit your own uh, in Blueprint Studios. There's still here submissions, so if you have not submitted any blueprints. Not yet. Not yet. But yeah, and then obviously when you come here and people buy it, you get your own commission. And your commission is, you know, when you get from people buying your blueprint. And they can be rated, as you see here. So you can filter unclaimed, claimed, show all, date, buyer, uh, blueprint. So you can search through it, filter it out. And yeah, so let's have an inkwood wagon. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh. Now the actual uh, blueprint area itself is very reminiscent of the build-off. So if you've ever been on a build-off, you'll know that you'll get a bunch of chests and they'll all be filled with things and you can use those to create the blueprint or whatever it is. Now you can't bring any items in or take anything out, just like a just like a build-off, but you will have that freedom to do whatever you want. Uh, it's a commission, a percentage, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, uh, but that's a good question. I would encourage you to ask that on the forums. Also, hello Kata, welcome to the stream. Uh, with each alpha, everything for individuals are reset, correct? Uh, we'll lose, yeah. Now you will lose everything except your player name, which you get to keep, your name is there forever. Unless you want to change it for some reason. Uh, your photos, your friends list, and if you were lucky enough to have one of your islands saved throughout the process, then you will have that too. And the island itself will be, you know, the island as you published it. And, oh, good lord. <laughs> just gonna run away from you, theory. It's just running away. <laughs> uh, of course, you wouldn't need to buy a blueprint from yourself. Uh, no, no, no. You can get your own blueprints because they're yours. That's perfectly fine. You can absolutely use your own blueprints as much as you want because they're yours. Uh, I believe you can only. Hmm, that's a good question, though. I believe. Yeah, you should be able to buy them for free, but only you'll be able to place them down and interact with them. So you couldn't, like, make a blueprint and then set up six on your friend's island and then let them fill up. You'd have to set them down yourself. Then you put all the blocks into them to create it. But then what you're doing is not getting the knots for it, committing your own materials to building it. You might as well have just not bought the, blue, or the free blueprint yourself and just built it. Yeah. Uh, I, I described blueprints, by the way. Scared of happy. Boomkin equals scared of happy. I'm not scared of happy. Happy, I think. Reasonably sure. All right, man, Mesh. Oh, he's got a voice to me. I'll do. I'll do. Kind of an old man. Welcome to the city of first light. You're probably itching to go on adventures, but I suggest propping, uh, prepping first. Here, take these resources to your home island and use them to craft some useful devices. When you're all set up, I'll give you some recipes too. All right, Mamesh, we'll take your stuff. And uh, we don't need to worry about that just yet. Okay, so we'll have a little run around First Light for a little bit more, because there's another little area I want to show you. All right, Yep. Oh. Because oh, it's all about like looking at First Light. And Tand isn't back yet, so I won't go over to Gladiator. For the sake, not much to change there. Oh, startled by the chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the the woohoo is just. Yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. So, over here we should have Tao Ying. Yep. Hello there, Tao Ying. You've still got that creepy hand. That's good. Alright, so Tao Ying. Tell me. Ta I'm not doing a voice for everyone. Tao Ying can just be herself. Uh, ideal in treasure amber, if you don't, if you have any, you can always buy some. I have an excellent selection. selection. Don't ask where I get it. Got it. Um, okay. Keep my eyes peeled. So, you may notice there's some changes to the UI here for her. So, this is a lot more obvious, like, where you place your tre treasure embers. And we can browse Tao Ying's surplus treasure embers, the ones that she sells. 
You've never noticed Italian's creepy raw bone hand. Look at it. Look at it. How have you never noticed that, Neon? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the same same area as the build. -off. I believe it actually. It's quite. It's actually bigger than the build off. If I'm corrected. Uh, lurk power activated. Are you sure, Django? Because uh, I can see. Now, all right. So let's see what she's selling. So here we are. So you may notice almost immediately that you can't buy these with knots anymore. Or you can buy them with kind of hover over it. Uh, currently used to purchase premium items. Now, uh, premium is a, a, a silly word. <laughs> it doesn't, anyway, but as I say, this is Alfred guys. Oh, what, what's that? Did you notice that? It's like a. There is nothing for sale at the moment. <laughs> oh, what? Can you see that in between? It's like, yeah, there is nothing for sale at the moment. Wow, okay. I'll have to... <laughs> okay, so. Uh, it's a new currency we're testing out. Uh, now, you can earn it. And throughout the test, we'll be, I believe, sending it out. Um, yeah, no, no, no. It's just something we're testing out. There's, not, there's nothing to buy. We're alpha testing. So, you will be sent, uh, sent this currency, I believe, in the, the mail. And you get it. More or less every day, and you can spend and buy. Oh uh, no! Please don't push me up while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> so I wanted to show you this because there's a whole bunch of new treasure ambers as well. So yeah, now as I say, you can earn it in in other ways, which is fine. You can still get treasure ambers by doing adventures and stuff. But you can see here, you got your gladiator officer. So I can't buy it. Oh, for me, you got veteran gladiator recruit, fearless explorer, intrepid explorer. Uh, novice Explorer, Master Settler, Master Settler, wait, did I, no, Master Settler, ex Expert Settler, and Apprentice Settler, and if I could buy them, you'd be able to see more information about them. Oh. <laughs> okay, now I'm hoping if I, what was this, complete your journey begins. Not called Mash the Quest any one anymore, eh? Oh, actually, um, no, there's no more tempering dust ambers, but neon. But you should still be able to to buy it. Uh, I've not talked about Gladiator yet. We'll have a look over in a second time. I have been waiting. Uh, Matter says, please don't make this um, work. No. <laughs> right. When it's a <laughs> games have multiple types of currency. Currently, we have. As you can see up here, uh, we have this one, which is a new one, which we're just testing out. Uh, we have knots, and then we have the marks, which you earn by doing quests. Now, this one here, don't be alarmed. We're just testing it, right? So feedback's important. So if you have problems with it, or you're not happy with it, or if you are happy with it, and you'd like to see it used in a different way, hit us up on our suggestions, and just hit us with feedback, because we're just testing it at the minute. With nothing set in stone. Everything is malleable at this point. So, yeah, do do bear that in mind, guys. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was going to have a look at the template just. So, I am scared. Don't be. Alright, uh, Meg. Meg. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go, tempering dust. It's two, so, you know, it's pretty cheap. That's what you get, but you can still obviously get it inside chests, in adventures and stuff. Uh, that would look under. Oh, they want you to look under Tao Ying. Of course they do. Of course they do, because there's this big path down here, but I was purposely avoiding it. So we'll have a look down there in a second. Right after we'll have a look at the gladiators. Let's see, we'll cut our way through here. Oh. <laughs> that sexy Mick pose. <laughs> but um, yeah. As, as I say, don't worry too much about it. We are so open suggestions and stuff and we're just testing out. We still... Oh, it doesn't even bother repeating. We're just going to talk about things we can do. So, Gladiators pretty much the same. Uh, Quartermaster of course, you can still buy Treasure Ambers here for your marks. Which is pretty cool. And... Ah, now it's Captain Eva Ice Strider. Alright, bit of a change there. Now you have all your quests, of course, and of course, you have your team deathmatch and capture the flag with creepy eyes. Alright, so, as I was saying, Tan, uh, 
PvP hasn't changed, but there's been some balancing here and there with weapons and some armor. Well, actually, let me just have a quick look at that battle axe. Uh, oh yeah, you can still buy me. Uh, I'll, I'll have a look at that now, actually. Yeah, here we go. So, yeah. You can still buy all this stuff, don't worry. And you can, of course, buy tempering just here for gladiator marks. So if you've got gladiator marks and you, you're thinking, I need some more tempering dust, you can buy it there. So, so we'll have a look over there because you want to talk about me. And then we'll have a look downstairs.